Well, welcome back. So I'm out here in the back country, in the Hoggart country. Uh, this is a uh, bullock paddock. So um, we've got, I've got the ewe lambs out here. And they've just been shuffling around these paddocks out here. And now I've got the cows and the uh, mixed age ewes out the back here. So just trying to tidy up the feed out here because it has gotten, um, it's gone quite a rank. It usually gets this way um, after, after summer. And now that we're into autumn, um, the feed kind of goes off and then you have to tidy up and um, yeah. So um, these girls, these ewe lambs are coming in and they're going to get their toxo and campy. And just looking at them now, they're actually looking like they're just starting to pick up. Um, I've been chasing them around with a drench gun all summer long and um, they have had a few worms and um, been struggling away. I've been trying to feed them well, but I don't know if I've been able to feed them um, as well as what I could have. Um, so it is what it is. So we've got uh, 30 hectares of pines out here that we planted and our fences haven't quite been up to the task to keep all the sheep in, but um, I just need to um, get the time to go around the full boundary of these trees and fill in any holes and make sure that um, nothing can get in because I've got a few stragglers I'll show you so I'm gonna get them out now can you see these guys in, in here two lambs in there naughty lambos and that might be a couple more hopefully they're on the right side of the fence now I just need to get anything out of there that I can well, it's just started raining here there's a few sheep up there and I've got two there and there's another two just over the ridge so we'll get them Get over Gus! Good boy! Get over Gus! Good boy Gus! That's it! Right, well he's on them now I'm going to go back up here and around here down there, get a couple down there and then get them into that paddock over there. I don't know what other farmers are getting but I'm getting a bit of, a bit of staggery sheep. I haven't seen it in the cattle yet but um, there's staggers around so I need to be careful. You can look out for that and facial eczema. I mean for people who don't know staggers can't kill animals but facial eczema can basically kill them well it will kill them but um yeah staggers they'll recover from but facial eczema they'll never recover from so just gotta look out for that at this time of year you see that one just fall over it'll get back up but um it's not very nice for them i wouldn't want it and ideally i want to keep these steers in here so um they've seen the gate open so they're off but um i'll get them back in so that beer going left soaks in the middle there gus is on the right doing whatever she wants. Straight through the middle of them. What I'm trying to create here, better quality feed. This is what every farm is trying to create. You saw what it was like up in that paddock, just shocking feed, and then you come down here and it's very palatable, nice, fresh, lush feed, and they'll do a whole lot better on this. Well, I go, Gus, get them on. So, um, I'm not saying it is nice, but I'll let it I'll let it take off a bit further, and then um, and then they can uh, rotate around these nice fresh paddocks. But um, for now, I'm just glad that I've um, been able to chew it out with the cows and the uh, fatty ewes. Now it have been a little bit harder on my ewes, but um, yeah, I just I think it's it should pay off as long as I flush them um, ten days before the ramp goes out. Uh, two weeks, ten days. It should be, should be, um, should be enough time. I hope that um, it doesn't affect.
affect my scanning result. Uh, pop these back and they can um, keep going on that paddock because there's plenty to tidy up. Well, here's a bit of, better video of what staggers look like, looks like for you. Watch this lamb go. And they just get to a point and for some reason their body just spasms up. You can look into it. creek. Now it's hopped back up and the rest of its mates are just coming to say good day, wondering what's going on. It keeps toppling over. Good morning. So I've got the ewe lambs, they're on the road. Should be starting at about 7. It uh, must be 22. So I've just had a slow one at the back here. There's a couple of staggers. Um, that are riding with me on the four-wheeler and um, one fly stricken you so I do have to be careful with about the fly strike um, we had about seven mils of rain last night which is great um, unless my rain gauge is out or well, at least five um, it's quite wet on the ground which would be great for our new grasses we've got these uh, lambs into three lines now so we've got under 30s, so they're um, going to be taken out, they're just in there. And then we've got 31 to 32, uh, 30 to 32, sorry. And I'm not sure if I'm going to box them back with the rest or if I'm going to um, prioritise them. I would rather not graze our um, kale, but it is there to be used, um, ideally for winter, for the steers, but... Um, I might put them on the kale, try and get them up to weight so they can be rammed. Um, these girls are above 32 and they actually average 36, so not too bad, but I don't really want to put a ram to them below 38 or even 40 ideally. And then um, by the time the ram comes out, hopefully they'll be 45-ish. Um, but last year I only rammed them for two cycles, about 34 days. So um, in 34 days they won't they won't put on that amount of kilos unless I'm really feeding them really well. So um, it was a bit wet this morning, as you would have seen um, in the dark, getting these in. Um, so we've just left them outside. So we ran them all through the race well, uh, drafted them up. And we've just left these outside. Hopefully, they should be dry. Actually, that's a good point. I didn't put these outside, did I? Silly bugger. Even undercover, they should have dried out. Um, I've got the guns um, and the needles, and the old man's coming down with the Toxo and Campy. And I had a fly blowing you, so I got the Mago, and we'll get these in. Give them the two jabs, so they need a, um, a toxo, which is a single jab. It's a live vaccine. Um, should be done, I think it's six weeks before the ram goes out, but I think I'm five. Hopefully it's all right. And then Campy gets done twice. So Campy's a dead um, uh, vaccine, so um, you have to do it twice. So we'll do one now, one in four weeks. And the ram goes out about 10 days after. Can you hear that coughing? Foreign ammonia is not good. This dog has no ears, especially with no collar on. Are you taking, are you taking, yeah. um, video? <laughs> William, you should, um, better get it right. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> nah. put a bit of ear in, and then, oh, pull. yeah, yep, and then put yep. some ear into it, put some ear into it, and pull it out as much as we can without it stalling. That's about it, yeah. It's quite involved, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Now, what we're supposed to do... Yeah. 
Oh, so, yeah, was... and put on a, a lens. Yeah. I bet you one percent of farmers do that. See, you almost could have someone mm. doing this yeah. full time while you're working. Well, I'm sure they do on the stations. Yeah, I surely. It's the uh nice. that's the manager's job. Uh, yeah. <laughs> they don't go on the uh drink trace anymore. Yeah, they don't get um oh they're busy washing the Dodge Ram, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. Straight underneath the. Well, shall I go? So there. No, but what side oh, shall yeah. I do? I'll do. I can do left. Okay. Yeah? Yep. Sure? Yep. Okay, I'll do the right. And I'm just here yeah, below the air button. So we've still got three mobs. I will keep those 30 to 32 separate. Yeah, so I'm just gonna chuck them out in the grass for now. 30 to 32 can go on that kale. And these lambs can go back around where they were. So there's 600 here, 90 over there. So it gives me, well, 694-ish. So we had 700 doses and um, the old man had, might've, might've had four or five doses left and I might've had 15, 10. It's a good feeling to get all that stuff sorted, you know. Um, look at them again, put them through the race so I know what weight they are. I know on my head how many kilos I need to gain. Um, and yeah, just keeps me onto them. Um, finger on your po on the pulse, as a uh, previous boss would have said. Those three came out of the trees. There's a U or two that came out of the trees. There's those three teasers that I brought around the road. Um, and then there's these light lambs. So I've got a bit of drafting to do here. Annabelle's got the new ute. Oh, it's the first one out of the palmy branch. Palmy Mitsubishi branch. But it's white, so it's pretty ugly. But check it out, the new, the new Triton. Yeah, you can, you can be on the YouTube. It turned off when so, I went to pull into my park. Yeah. You know, like we were, like I was, to, you know, like because I kind of would turn where if you were wanting to turn into BP, and then someone was wanting to turn into BP, and then I was like trying to go, but I couldn't go. Couldn't you? And then, but I think it's because I like went to go, but then went back to not go. So it was like stopped, and it was like, what the hell are you doing? Like making uh, your mind, woman. Oh yeah, right. Probably would have said that too. So that's what it looks like. Like a you. Oh. Big dent on there now, sorry. <laughs> but yeah, didn't get the keyless option. And the I didn't get the wireless phone charger. So, you know, not many people are buying the, the flash models. <laughs> what are you um, up to? Busy I, day. I have actually had a really busy day. Mm. Are you going to be ready by five. Oh, it's tennis today? Yeah, we need to play first. Oh my goodness, I forgot about tennis. <laughs> I forget every time. I know. Okay, yeah. um, yep. Yeah, we have to be five. leaving at five. Okay. Oh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Twin turbo now. Yeah, so you just went in way and Yeah, I've got to get the teasers out and the ewes out of these lambs and there go. I'll see you then. I'm leaving at five. Okay. Do I get to drive if I come? Well I'll let these dogs off and it's feed time. Right, well, 
it's tennis time. So um, get to take the new ute, get to drive even. So uh, I'm sure farmers would be interested in um, new utes. So um, this thing's a new Trihon. Um, and uh, I think it's second to last game of tennis for the season. So um, I might get a little bit of footage of the uh, tennis. PM this Sunday, Palmerston North Convention Centre. So this is our second to last game of tennis this season. It's been a pretty good season actually, I've got enjoying the tennis. But um, it's just good to get off farm and um, get in here and um, yeah, get into a bit of sport. And this thing's driving, driving pretty good, thanks Annabelle. No, it's got a bit more power. And because Annabelle had the, um, the older one, uh, the version before this, and um, that went alright, but um, no, this is a lot more comfortable and just a bit more powerful, so yeah. Yeah, mate. Oh, <laughs> God. <laughs>